we've uh, finally hit the water. We just spoke to some locals, they reckon it's pretty hit and miss at the moment, but I reckon if we work hard enough, we should be able to find them. We have a storm rolling in, so we'll get in while we can. Let's get these dragon maggots, put them to the test. So let's uh, put the pedal to the metal. It's about as fast as we go. <laughs> So we're basically just fishing a weed edge here, just running downstream or just pretty much trying to hold on the edge of it and just fish over the top of the weed, bed, weed bed and just bring it over the edge of that weed bed for any fish that may be cruising on the side of it. Good little spot there for them to sort of duck in and out of cover. So that's where we're going to target them today. First cast just as I was sinking down to the column, gave it a couple of twitches as I was on its way down. Whack, jumped on it, right on that weed edge. It's a lot smaller than the other fish I hooked and dropped, but it's not a bad start. There we go. First one in the boat. No, not bad. Alright, just pop him out there. Nice and easy, there you go. Now, back in the drink for him. Well, I'm all tangled up, but off he goes into the drink. Woo! A booyah. Got ya, you river. <laughs> I think there might be a few more around it. Pretty river. I'm just gonna murder myself away from this quick. I'm gonna hold this fish in the water. I'm gonna have my net with me, but just easy me. There you go. Wicked. Hold that one and all. There you go. Maggot nice and firmly in the corner of the jaw. Oh, I'm just going to pop him out. I'll give you a bit better look at this fish. Oh, come on, mate. There you go. Easy done. And there you go. Ye oldie black brim. It's a bit better. It's comp fish. Legal fish. So, we would put it in the bag, but we're not fishing a comp. So, we'll chuck him back. Thumbs up so far, so it is proving to be quite tough out here, but we are getting the hits, we are getting the fish, so, oh, whoops, we just got to work a bit harder, and hopefully we can come through with the goods, a few more, a few more of these would be fantastic, so we'll get them back in the drink, and get the maggot in again. Alright, we are getting a little quiet down here, so I'm going to move back up, find some more weed, and uh, see if we can get a few more there, because it's not doing the trick at the moment. Back on the water again.
over to the stage. Twitch, twitch back. So how we're basically working these plastics, nice long cast out there. And we're just letting them sink. And the good thing about the dragon maggots is they're a regular tail style plastic. So they have a nice, really long, light tail on them. So as they move down through the column, you're gonna have a constant wriggle going to them. It's always good to get that action when you're not actually imparting it like I am now with the rod. So we're just basically just hopping it off the bottom. Go as light as you can when fishing plastics. So I've got a little dragon maggot 1.5 gram V point head on. I think that's what it's called. It's a bit technical, doesn't it? It's basically a nice and light head, fishing about two meters of water. So you could even go a lot lighter, but that's the only size they can make. Just to show how finicky they are, they just keep on tapping the back of the tail. But I guess, from what they were saying, we're doing all right considering. It's supposed to be quite shut down and sort of seems like I can see where he's coming from. Got you that time, mate. <laughs> oh man, these guys are playing finicky. But this little wriggler tail seems to be proven itself in a shutdown system, which is doing any type of product testing. I mean, if the system's shut down, you're getting fish. There's something going right. I think I put a lot to these plastics with the wriggler tail, like any other wriggler tail plastic, they're just a great lure to use in the water. Always got the action, whether you're sinking or twitching it with your rod. Nice, slight, regular tail like on these maggots. And you normally come up trumps pretty good. They just can't resist them. In the water. Now, I know there's a few more around there. So, we'll see how she goes. Get her out. Let it sink. A few twitches on the way down. And you're just waiting for that tick in the line. Always keep note of that. When your line's sinking, just watch it. If you see any type of twitch or you feel any little tup on your line, like a little a little tug through the rod, then you know to strike the fish. Today, they're being a bit tricky and they're sort of just coming, sucking in and throwing it. So every time I get a little tick and I go to hit it, I've got nothing there. I've got to be, got to be very quick with them. So oh, you got to uh, roll with the punches sometimes. Yep. Yes! Oh, he's playing finicky. I think I may have to uh, change my style of fishing here because they're just me having it. Finding it pretty difficult. But I've seen you come through some form of goods. I'm just uh, coach this guy up. And there you go. Another legal brim. Not the biggest one. It'll do. Well, it is tough cookies. Very tough. But we still seem to be coming through with the goods, so put this guy in the drink. See you later, mate. And we'll see. Now we go again. Yeah, he took a very finicky that one. <laughs> Got him. Just saw that bait skipping over there before. <laughs> you know, as, as you normally do, throw toward it. 
and get some form of result. First one was just in the form of a couple of hits. Move it up a little bit further. Pop the car in this direction. And a few twitches as the as the plastic went down. There you go. Bang. Another one. Good stuff. Nice lure in his mouth there. goes to show if you're seeing things around in the water always cast at them this is the result we got obviously and it basically just cast it out and just kept on hopping it's sort of like a hard body kept it up in the water kept this tail continuously rolling on the sink and on the rise so seemed to have worked the treat back in the water all right this is the last cast it's just the well we're losing light so it's been a bit tough out here we'll have to return tomorrow but from what the locals are saying, we've actually done it right, so hats off so far. We'll just wrap this cast up. I'm probably not going to get a fish. Nope. That's it. I'm done. I'm getting eaten by mozzies. We'll head in now. Have a good rest. Let the fish have a good rest, and we'll hit it tomorrow. See what happens. So I think uh, the co-partner will be having a crack tomorrow, so it'll be Crisco. We'll see what happens. See if we can get some more. Till then, bon voyage.